Ricky Waters. Now, Ricky was a little bit before your time, so let me give you my uh, remembrance of Ricky Waters. This was back when I was a Niner fan. So the Niners had this dynasty, and their backfield was Tom Rathman and Roger Craig, and those were their guys for a long time, and eventually the Niners moved on. And there was this period where the Niners weren't winning Super Bowls with Steve Young, and they blamed him, and they blamed George Seifert. But really, they didn't have a running back. They didn't have a backfield. And once Mike Shanahan got here, and he figured out that Ricky Waters and William Floyd were the new backfield. The Niners won the Super Bowl. So Ricky Waters was pretty much the heir apparent to Roger Craig, and he did a lot of what Roger Craig did. He was a really good runner, really good receiver. I believe he was a receiver in college at Notre Dame. And then eventually he left the Niners and went to go play with John Gruden in Philly and I want to say Holmgren in, Se in San uh, Seattle. So he was like a, a West Coast offense favorite around the league in the 90s. He was really good, and he was a champion. I don't think he was a Hall of Famer, though. I mean, really good player. I don't think he was a great player. But great fit in the West Coast offense. I wasn't alive. I can't tell you. <laughs> I wasn't alive. Ricky Waters, he was number 32 on the 94 Super Bowl team. And he was part of the crew that would wear do-rags during games. I thought that was so cool as a six-year-old. I wore do-rags to school. Can you picture six-year-old Grant wearing a red do-rag? Like the ones like... Like, like the Deion ones when Sanders. they do the meme when they put the cigarette in the mouth and everything like that. <laughs> kind of like that. I mean, that was really cool. Deion Sanders did it. Ricky Waters did it. All the young players on the Niners did it that year. Uh, and I, so the, I mean, I, I wore my little red do-rag. That was pretty cool. Ricky Waters was a lot of fun. He was hella good and he went dumb in the, in the Super Bowl. He was really freaking good. They wouldn't have won that without him. Yeah. The only they running back I was ever like taught to hardcore learn back in the day for the 49ers was always Roger Craig. <laughs> that yep. was always things my uncles just drilled into me. It, waters too, but I can't I can't speak on waters. It's not like it's not like they forced me to watch him. They forced me to watch some clips of Roger Craig. Yeah, you see me on diamond. See me I could look and everything and just watch. It. I was like, okay, I get it. He's good. Yeah, but what waters wasn't here that long. It's just that I remember my dad told me he used to talk to Bill Walsh all the time, and there was that period between between Craig and Waters, and Walsh told my dad on the phone. Who's the damn running back on this team? Where's where's the damn running back? Something like that. Well, <laughs> they they eventually found one, and that was the. It's an important position, and once again, it was it was a Shanahan that figured it out. He's the one that started that inserted Waters into the starting lineup, and boom, they won a Super Bowl. That's pretty much to me the Shanahan's legacy in the NFL. If you give them a Hall of Fame quarterback, they'll find the running back and put it all together. I don't know that they can necessarily find the Hall of Fame quarterback on their own, but if you give them one, mm -hmm. they can give them the running game and and win the Super Bowl.